Hello, second grade. This is module 7, lesson 14. And our objective today is I can connect measurement with physical units by using iteration with an inch tile to measure. So we have a word problem here. It says Frances is moving the furniture in her bedroom. She wants to move the bookcase to the space between her bed and the wall but she is not sure it will fit. What could Frances use as a measurement tool if she doesn't have a ruler? How could she use it? So let's problem solve this first question. It says that she doesn't have a ruler, but she needs to measure the bookshelf. What can she use that is available to her to measure this bookshelf? So it's a bookshelf, and she has several books. Do you think maybe she could use a book to measure? She sure could. So what she's going to do is she's going to take a book, and she is going to measure it by putting the book down at the very edge at the bottom here, and then she's going to move another book up right here, and put it right here or put like her finger right here and then move the book up above that and then she's going to take her finger and put it right here where it left off and she'll move the book up again and she's going to keep doing that so that was one two times let's do it again here's three times and here's four times and we're at the top here so four so how many books tall is this bookcase right it is four books tall okay so I have some scissors here and I'm going to use these little inch tiles to see how long my scissors are now I need to take all of my inch tiles and I need to put them right next to each other. Do you see how I just put the second one right next to the first one and there's no gap? If I have a gap between them, then my measurement's going to be off. So I made sure that I put it right next to each other. And I also made sure that my first one is lined up with the very edge of the thing that I am going to measure. So let's count how many inches these scissors are. Each of these tiles is an inch long. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I stopped because here is the end of my scissors. So this, these scissors are seven inches long. I need to make sure that both ends are lined up with a uh, inch square here. It's very important to line at least the front up. The back might not always be lined up directly with the end, but we can say it's about seven inches here. Okay, so now we're going to measure this marker here. So here's my tile again, and I'm going to put my tiles up here. Do you notice how there is not a gap between any of these tiles? That tiles, I don't have a huge gap. They're right up next to each other. So how many inches long is this marker? Well, let's count the tiles. One, two, three, four, five. So this marker is how long? Five inches long. Now, notice how I'm putting inches at the end of the number of how many there are. I need to do that so that the person who is reading my measurements, they know how long it is and they know what I'm using. So if I say five, I don't know what you're using because you could be using paper clips, you could be using centimeters, you could be using books. Is it 
five frogs long? I don't know. That's why you need to label the end in inches or whatever you use to measure. All right, here's a pencil. It's been sharpened a lot, it looks like. So let's put our tiles up and we'll measure how much this pencil, or how long this pencil is. So I put my tiles up. I want you to go ahead and count the tiles and put how many inches long this pencil is. Did you say that this pencil is four inches long? If you did, good job. Now I have a piece of notebook paper here and I'm going to lay out my inches. Ooh, that's pretty long. Count how many inches long this is. Did you get nine inches? And did you write inches after the number nine? If you did, excellent job. Now is your turn. You're going to get out your exit ticket and you're going to take a picture and you're going to seesaw it to me. But here's the thing. I want to make sure that you're actually listening and watching these videos very carefully. So what you're going to do is you're not going to actually answer these questions. You're going to t turn your paper over to the back and I want you to write the objective to this lesson. The objective can be found at the very beginning of the video where I tell you which lesson and module we are doing it at, what we're doing. And it says um, the objective for today is, and I want you to write that down. Then after you write the objective, I want you to write how many objects we measured in this video. So write the objective and then the number of objects we measured in the video. Take a picture of that, the back of your paper, and seesaw that answer to me. Now, be sure not to tell your neighbor, don't tell anybody about this last part because I want them to see who is listening. So if you are listening, awesome job. I am so glad you are listening and carefully to my videos. So take that picture, seesaw it to me, and then you may get onto Dreambox.